Hello, this is Paul from Foster Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 3.2.2, which is uh, some basic properties of a dot product in n space. We see one, two, three, four uh, of these properties are familiar with us in two space and the three space, right? And they're the same. Okay. The results are the same in n space. So the first is a uh, mm, commutative, right? All we say is a symmetry property. The second day is distributive. And then the third is a homogeneity, like a linear property. And uh, the coefficient that can back up the out from the dot product. And the last one is uh, we call a non-negative or positivity properties. Okay. And that the dot product of the vector of itself okay, is non-negative. Uh, if the dot product is a zero, if and only if equivalent to the vector is a zero vector. Let's see uh, how to prove it. Yeah, n space. Uh, first, uh, we need to set up, right? So let's set up first. That u uh, n space is a vector. U1, U2, to Um. So V, uh, let me put this. V is a vector. Uh, we use a V from V to to V M to this part. And then uh, one more W. Okay. So let's say W is the vector of W1, W2, to W M and the, the first, which is a uh, uh, commuter there. Okay. So the dot product U dot V equals V dot uh, U. Okay. See Y. We just uh, do calculation from the left to the right. It's good enough. So from the left, u dot v, what is u dot v? By the definition, it's the sum of products, right? The sum of product which is uh, u1 v1 plus u2 v2 that, 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 plus un and the vn. And we can just switch the order, see, easy, switch the order for each term. <coughs> So we have v1 u1 plus v2 u2 da, 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 plus vn un. So now we see. So this should be so the the sum of the product of v and the u. So that's the total product of v and the u, right? Okay. So that the proof for the first. This should be v vector dot u vector. Yeah. So that's good. For A. What is B? Uh, B is distributive. Look at B, which is this distributive uh, U dot V plus W. We can distribute okay, to U dot V plus u dot uh, w okay let's see if this is true and the same i work from the left to the right so the left u dot v plus w okay what is u i know u is a u1 u2 da, 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 goes to un right dot what's it? v plus w by the definition of addition, which is a v1 plus w1, v2 plus w2 goes on to vn plus wm. Okay, so the product is the sum of products. Okay, so which is this? Is it u1, v1 plus w1, and then u2, v2 plus w2. And then goes on. 
WN, VN plus WN, and then you know we can distribute it because this is the numbers of okay. it. Um, therefore, we should have two terms. Can you see up here? So the first, let me put a parenthesis, which is a U1, V1, U2, V2. So I I merge the U and the V together. Okay. And then plus U N V N. We put these together. And then I put the U and the W together, which is a U1, W1 plus a U2, W2, the second terms. Uh, U N W N all together. See? By the definition. So the first term is the product of U N V, right? This is a U and V, the dot product. The second is a U and W. U and uh, W. Okay, so this is the proof of the distributor. <clears throat> so the distributor is true. Okay, so this is true, right? Well, look at the C. C is a homogeneity. Okay, homogeneity, like linear property, we can track it out at the K. C. <clears throat> C is correct. Um, so means if a K times a U <coughs> dot V. Okay, so we can factor the K out as a K times a U dot a V. A homogeneity we call. Is this true? Uh, the same I work from the left. Okay, so K U dot V, of course, is a K U one, right? By the scalar multiplication, K U two to K U N, if it's a K U, and then dot times V one V two to V N. Uh, but the definition, this should be what? Should be k times u1 v1 plus k times u2 v2 plus until k times u n v n. We can factor out the k, right? Okay. So we can factor the k out. So k u1 v1 u2 v2 that that, that goes to u n v n, which is the dollar product. So k times the dot for dark dot uv, if you like it, put a parenthesis. Okay, so this is the proof for c. <clears throat> so this is the two. And the last, you see the last we call the positivity or non-negative of the dot product itself. And also the second piece. So D says a V dot V at itself should be non-negative. Okay, so this is the first. The second, uh, it says uh, if uh, V dot uh, V equals zero, when is equivalent to V is a, a zero vector in space. <coughs> this is the second. So we'll look at the first. The first is quite easy because v dot v equals the square of the norm of v, right? So we have this property. And that the norm is non-negative, therefore this is non-negative. So that's true. See? So this is true. And then the second, uh, hmm, let me just put down. Oh, the second uh, is simply right here. See, uh, this is equivalent to the norm squared equals zero. Equivalent because uh, the dot product the, the self equals the square of the norm. And then look at it. the square of the norm equals zero. We have a property for four. Okay, it's equivalent to the uh, vector is zero vector. Think of this the previous uh, theorem okay so there's a theorem uh, two point let me see 
2.1. Uh, okay, so you can find is it three point two point one okay the basic let me make sure yeah it should be okay so this is the tube right and the data proof but the theorem thank you